If you haven't yet, time is running out to file your tax return. The deadline to submit returns for most taxpayers is April 18th, but before you do, there are some things to consider and things to look out for so you get what you're owed and you don't end up owing more. I spoke with two IRS representatives all about it in tonight's Better Call 4. This is really critical money. We want to get that money to people. And IRS uh, spokesman Luis Garcia says the easiest and quickest way to get your tax refund is by filing your return electronically. The best thing that people can do for the IRS um, for themselves is to file electronically and ask for direct deposit. To do that, Garcia says you'll need your W-2 or 1099. And for some of you this year, letter 6419, which applies to the advanced child tax credit. If anything is missing, you get that additional amount or uh, if you receive the full amount that is, is properly represented. And letter 6475, which tells the IRS how much you received in stimulus payments. Uh, the third round of stimulus payment came through last year and for most people, you don't have to do anything. It's not taxable. You don't have to claim that stimulus payment. That stimulus payment, changes to the child tax credit and unemployment benefits could lead to a lot of confusion while filing. That's why IRS criminal investigation special agent Tony Westendorf says it's important to have an experienced tax preparer help you. Is always have the preparer review the return with you a preparer you trust who finishes the job. One thing we see is a uh, return preparers who do not sign a return. All paid preparers should be signing returns that they were paid to prepare this return. And make sure that the return is as accurate as possible. Mistakes could delay your refund or you could end up owing the IRS. I know what's on your return because you're ultimately responsible for what's on that return. And Westendorf says it's helpful if your preparer is available year round, just in case the IRS has questions about your return. And if the IRS does need to contact you, agents will never call or demand legal action or send an email asking you to click on a link. That is likely a scam. Any communication will come in an official letter in the mail.